Wow, mainstreams look at social media is not only really, really profound, but it's actually really eye-opening as well. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Livestock Critic. I hope you're having a brilliant day. So in this video we are going to be reviewing Mainstream which is an art house film that looks at the impact of viral fame and really really does explore the obsessiveness and the destructiveness that this can cause and also it's really interesting as it looks at things from both a dramatic point of view whilst also looking at it from a comedic point of view as well. So it really does poke fun at YouTubers and people that are content creators and that are desperate to become internet famous and it also has some interesting social commentary on people's obsessiveness with having the perfect digital profile and you can just tell that Andrew Garfield is absolutely loving and relishing the opportunity to tell this narrative as he has been very open and very vocal about his own frustrations with people's obsessiveness with social media and hiding behind the phone and how this really can have a destructive impact on society. So I just feel like he really is giving his heart and soul in this performance and it just makes this movie really, really great and I'm going to be breaking it all down for you in this video review. <laughs> So the film opens up by at first focusing on a character called Frankie who is a struggling filmmaker and also has a struggling YouTube channel which I feel like a lot of people can relate to and resonate with. She then meets up with a character called Link and films him while he's giving a bit of a profound speech about art and then instantly has her most successful YouTube video. Slowly but surely she convinces Link to join her in creating a really successful channel which they then do and things then take a bit of a sinister turn. Now from a positive point of view, I feel like it really well balances both drama and comedy. So it has a really humorous look at people's obsessiveness with becoming internet famous and social media and just how desperate some people can be. And also looking at the fatal consequences that this can have. It also doesn't take itself too seriously. I mean, like I said, it really does have its dramatic moments for sure. But at the same time, it really does poke fun at itself. And Andrew Garfield in particular, you can just tell that he's really not taking himself too seriously and is really enjoying this opportunity. And at the same time as this, it really is a raw production that really does focus on the reality of this situation instead of hiding behind a bit of a glossy film, which I think is really, really impressive. However, from a negative point of view, I really do feel like they could have delved even deeper into the obsessiveness side of social media and also just the viral fame. I feel like they really could have explored that a lot more maybe looked at the growth that these guys really experienced really, really quickly. I mean, the movie is only 90 minutes at the end of the day, so they did want to take a bit of a dramatic turn, which they definitely do do in the third act. But like I said, it would have been great to explore this a little bit further. And also, like I said right in the beginning, this is a bit of an art house movie. So if that is your thing, then I think you're going to really like it. But it is worth bearing in mind that this is a little bit different than your standard movie. So, you know, for all of those reasons, I do feel like from a storyline point of view, mainstream is actually really, really great. So from a cast and characters point of view, it is pretty stripped back and pretty focused on a few characters, which actually I think is really, really great as you can really get connected with these few characters, you can really understand their motivations and you're really with them. So it really is great from a character narrative and development point of view. So first up, of course, we have Andrew Garfield, who's playing the Link character, and he was just so brilliant in this performance. I mean, you really can tell every single time that Andrew Garfield is playing a character that he really is going to give his everything into his performance. And when he is playing this character called Link, it really is interesting to really spot the difference between when it's Andrew Garfield and when it's Link because this character is just so captivating and mesmerizing when he does his speeches about the negative side of social media and why people should reject it and all of that sort of stuff. I feel like Andrew Garfield definitely was improvising in a lot of those scenes at the same time as this though you can also see the obsessiveness that this guy has with social media and how actually it can be really destructive for the soul whilst on top of this as well he is really magnetic on camera so you can see how he's really quickly been able to generate a massive fan base and why the main character is also really allured and drawn to this character as well so i just feel like andrew garfield plays all of the facets of the Link character really, really well. Next up we have Maya Hawke, who is playing the Frankie character. Like I said, she's a bit of a struggling filmmaker in what she would describe as a bit of a dead-end job. And then when she sees the Link character, she just becomes a little bit obsessed with him. 
and just really attaches herself to him and because he was her most successful viral video which is obviously something that she is so desperate for she just really wants to do anything and everything that she can do in order to connect with this character and really build on the fan base that he is generating so i just feel like you can really understand where all of the different characters are coming from and i just feel like maya hawk is playing this character really really well as because she is a little bit normal from an audience member point of view you really can connect and understand this character's motivations and i just feel like maya hawk plays this character really really well and so from a casting character's point of view i just feel like these two people really do such a good job in leading this movie <laughs> So from a visuals point of view, even though this is a bit of an art house indie movie, it actually does look really, really great. I feel like they use the use of emojis really, really well in this film. I feel like it really does embrace the fact that it is making fun of social media in certain moments. It really is metaphorical about how people really just look at things from a digital screen point of view. It is really raw, like I said before, and that point's really uncomfortable because of the fact that it is so raw. It really does put a chill down your spine as you can't believe the things that are happening on screen. I really do like the fact that they have a brilliant production that they have created, for example, the studio that the Link and the Frankie character have created for their show on YouTube. I feel like those sides of things are really, really interesting. And also on that point, they really explore business and sponsorships for YouTube channels really, really interestingly. So you can really understand and see the behind the scenes for people who really do catapult into stardom and so from a visuals point of view i feel like they definitely do a good job in creating the aesthetic for the narrative that they wanted to tell <music> so from a comparisons point of view i feel like you can definitely compare this film to prank me the tv series starring cory fagelmanis who was a bit of a youtube sensation and this really does look at the negative side of what somebody who has viral fame can achieve whilst it is obviously very different i feel like you can also compare it a little bit to the social network in terms of people just trying so hard in terms of really being famous and creating something digitally successful. Also very similar to the documentary Social Dilemma in terms of really exploring the negative sides of what social media itself can achieve. And whilst narratively, of course, very different, I think there are aspects that you can compare it from Tick Tick Boom, which was recently on Netflix with Andrew Garfield as well, in terms of somebody who is really working hard to achieve a certain goal. So I feel like from a comparison point of view, whilst this storyline is obviously really, really unique, I feel like there are other things that have looked at social media as well. So overall, I really, really enjoyed mainstream. I feel like anything that Andrew Garvey puts his mind to, he is able to achieve brilliant results. And I feel like he definitely did that in this film. I would have thought it would have gone down a bit of a different direction, so what ended up happening but you know that being said for what they did do it was really really impressive but like their social commentary on people's obsessiveness and the destructiveness of what social media can achieve was really really eye-opening and also how desperate some people can be and the cautionary tales that it should tell people for when they do actually achieve viral fame i thought was really really interesting and so for all of those reasons i'm going to give mainstream a seven out of ten i'd love to hear what you thought so please let me know in the comment section below Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.